Today, we are remembering someone who was such a person-to-person -person, uh, kind of host, Regis Philbin. The beloved talk and game show host passed away on Friday night at the age of 88. Generations of America came to know Regis over coffee on the hugely popular talk show with Kathy Lee Gifford, and then of course with Kelly Ripa. He also hosted the very big hit game show, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Some of you know him just from Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? He was on the air for nearly 30 years, appearing in 16,000 hours of television, which is a Guinness Book World record. David Letterman remembered his friend over the weekend, putting him in the same category as Johnny Carson. You don't understand how big that compliment is. Letterman also called Regis the best guest ever, and he was on repeatedly with uh, David. Kathy Lee Gifford shared her last memory of Regis on the Today Show. Let's take a look. They came over about two weeks ago. Um, I saw Reach get out of the car with joy, and I, I'd sensed some much more fragility than I'd seen in him since the last time in January out in Los Angeles. We just uh, had the best time, and after they left, I just thought to myself, Lord, is that the last time I'm going to see my friend? Because oh, he was failing, I could tell. And if you didn't know, guys, Joy, who is his wife, Regis Philbin's wife, said to Kathy Lee, he hadn't smiled in weeks. And when he had lunch with you, it was the first time he smiled in a while. Uh, a lot of people writing in sensitivity training saying he, Regis was supposed to live forever. Um, he pioneered this entire style of what we do here at DVL. And Al's nodding because he knows it's true. He spoke to you like we are now. He was authentic. He was real. He could talk about Joy not making a hot cu cup of coffee coffee for like 25 minutes and people tuned in my relationship with Jeff my relationship the bickering with Al that's all Kathy Lee and Regis am I right Al? I, I mean, completely agree and I don't think people realize how hard that is yes if you've ever like gone and seen like a public speaker maybe is the speaker the the head of your company speaking and they get off topic off of their note cards for one second you can see how frazzled they are and they're going through their note cards because nobody is real anymore for it was unheard of no for somebody to come it. in on a Monday and talk about what their kids did and talk about the fact that they've got it, their back hurts. Like, it used to be so straightforward when you watch those old TV clips and the, the, the guys all buttoned up, and it, I say guy because women weren't allowed yet. Right, no, no, you we, know, weren't, and, we weren't smart enough. No, right, no. <laughs> <laughs> and, and Regis really did, did pioneer this, and I feel like, and this is a really big compliment, he is the beginning of Howard Stern and of podcasts where people just sit around and talk. No one did that before him. A hundred percent agree. Lindsay, he got it kind of from Jack Parr, who was a former... Uh, Tonight Show host, that kind of style. But you went from journalist to talk show host. Did you, you kind of went, went Regis, you know? You kind of had to be more open. Was that hard for you to do? It's a good question. Thanks. Yeah, he's, he's someone who's, whose career that I follow really closely. I mean, he had this authenticity that you guys are talking about where it felt like he was talking directly to you even though millions of people were watching him all the time. And uh, what I remember is watching Who Wants to Be a Millionaire and uh, Regis and Kathy Lee with my mom. Yeah. And it used to be something that was part of her morning routine and part of her nighttime routine, and so it was part of my routine. And I always felt like I knew exactly what was going on even as a young person. Um, and so he's sorely missed. I think he probably pioneered, like you said, what we do and what so many people have followed and done and probably not even met up to his standards at all. But, you know, he's somebody that we look to for guidance and aspiration just keeps you with that positive energy that we love to see on TV. Absolutely. And he was that same guy outside of the studio. He had not an enemy in the world. He had a twinkle in his eye. And we thank him for pioneering this entire style here at DBL. Rest in peace, Regis.